What's up everybody, Cobrinha. In this video, Ken and I are going to demonstrate how you can take your single leg and double leg to the next level. Also, we're going to demonstrate a few ways of escaping from guillotine as you should for single leg or double leg. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe and let's take your game to the next level. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment in the session below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We're going to start with the collar tie first. So remember, I have my left leg forward. I'm going to do the collar tie with my right hand. Am I correct? Yeah, if I go to the left, so Ken's going to shoot for a single leg. So I'm going to go one, two, I grab the, the head. Now what I do, I'm going to, Ken's going to grab my elbow, I'm going to snap, one, two, three, he's going to posture up. I'm going for the single leg. When I go for the single leg, the arm is going from the outside, palm down, the other one, palm up. I'm gonna push Ken in it a bit, forward, to make sure that he's off balance, and simultaneously, now I can drop the shoulder pressure to his thigh, move forward with my right foot, and step my left leg back. And I'm gonna hold Ken's shin, and I'm gonna reset again one more time. Go. Collar tie, one. Notice that I'm going for the biceps, and then I slide to the rest. I snap, one, two, three. He posture up, single leg. Push him forward, I mean backwards, right? So I'm gonna move forward, drop the shoulder pressure, and step my right foot, and left foot goes back simultaneously. One thing over here I want you guys to practice is as we go for them, I'm gonna do fast forward, one, one, two, three, notice that when he postured up, my head is on Kenny's chest. I push him a little bit and I disengage. Turn so I can, please. I disengage, I don't stay engaged the whole time. Why? Because of the guillotines or sometimes Kimura as well. Okay, so now I can see what I'm going to do next. When I push him back, I push him back, then I dropped it, the shoulder, and then go clockwise and I'll be able to Take him down. Are you guys following me? Simple is we're going to do one for one on this one. The shoulder on the thigh, as you decide you're going to take your partner's down, that's when you drop the shoulder to your partner's thigh. If I stay here, Kenny's gonna push my head to the side, and now I have to switch to the double leg immediately to not get caught. Right, so that's the one of the reasons why we stay here. And if he sprawls a bit, I just straight the arm just like so. I push him back, now I dropped it, and clockwise one more time, take him down. Cool, all right. One for one on this one. So let's see, I have Kenny's leg. So let's practice this. Slow, drop the shoulder pressure, one, step, two. Now I'm gonna step my left leg back. Three, look how much I'm step exaggerating. Now, when Kenny goes down, I step the leg back. Okay, let's go again, one more time. It's important for us to fix that, okay? So one more time. So I'm going to exaggerate one more time. Shoulder pressure, step. Now I'm going to step my left foot back. As I do that, I'm gonna stay there, okay? But now I can go back. See, I'm going from here to there. Then I catch my balance. So, Again, from one, one, two, three, he's going down, now I catch my balance. Because if I stay here, now I'm going to, if I stay here, I'm going to be off of balance. As he's going down, I step the leg back, huh? square. So one more time. One, two, three, and square. Let's give, let's give it a try. So remember, pressure first is slow, okay? Count. One. One. Two. Three. And then let's call this one four, the square. Okay. The one thing we're gonna change here is that. So one, two, I go one, two, three. He posture up, I go single leg. Okay, so I push him, I go first one, oops, oops, oh, first one, oops. All right, so 
the second one didn't work. The third one didn't work, and then I feel like that, mm, okay, so he has a, such a good base, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one, put my head outside, boom, I'm gonna go for the double leg. And my partner should not be holding me. <laughs> right. I didn't know, right? So what we're going to do, so we're gonna switch to the double leg. I'm gonna do it slow. So I tried the first one, it didn't work. Second one didn't work. So what I'm going to do, as I'm going for the, I'm going to the third one, as I'm going, I keep running that way. It's gonna be this way, watch. Boom, and then I hit it, yeah? One motion. So I'm going from here, outside. Now I can grab. Oops. And I'm going there. Okay. Just one more time. Let's practice this drill first, just before we get there. Here we go. I'm going for the takedown. Do the work, step the leg, double leg. I'm going for the takedown. That single leg, and then double. Single, double. Single, double. Make sense, everybody? It's just a drill. Let's do the drill first, and then we'll put together later. Any questions? Single leg. So Kenny's gonna put my head to the outside, okay? So if he does that, I have two op options here. One, switch immediately to the double leg. Okay, or if it's too tight here, I'm gonna take him down this way, and I, as I go down, I jump to the other side. So our goal is to understand that. So when someone gets to the guillotine over here, I'm going for the single leg, he pushes my head to the other side. Okay, he's gone. Double. Or, so I get caught over here, and then he put my head, I take him down, Jump over to the other side immediately. And then if it still has the guilty, I'm gonna put the pressure, break the the lock, the guillotine, we have the underhook. Are you guys following me? Sometimes it's too tight, you can't go to the double leg, but we have to understand the two. One, keep your head outside, take your partner down, and then hop to the other side as your partner's going down. Second one, double leg. Are you guys following me? Would you like to see the two again? Yeah, the second one, yeah. yeah, of course. Let's do the. I'll do the first one and the second one, okay? And then we can practice. So we start from the beginning. I go one, two, three. He posture up, single leg. I'm trying to kick his down. He's gonna push my head on the side. Double immediately. There it is. Immediately. Okay. Now put the pressure. Break the lock. Get the underhook. And then we'll stop on side one drop. Second one might be too late, or you say no, I prefer to do this one. So I like to do the double leg most of the time, okay? I prefer to do that one. But sometimes if you get caught on that one, you can go to the double leg, hop over as your opponent's going down. Second one, one, two, three, he push it up, there it is. I'm going for the take down, it's gonna put my head outside, I go anyway. Jump over. 